Right, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm turning some little um, Christmas ornament birdhouse type things. So I've got a piece of the. I'm just using up some of this scrap wood. A bit of two by two. Okay, it's beech. I've put a 38 mil hole in the bottom, drilled up to roughly about there, and I've drilled four holes around the side. I'm just meant mounting that on my shark. Luckily enough, with my jaws closed, it is pretty much 38 mil thick. So I can hold it internally. I'm putting my tail stock on just to keep everything and stop any vibration because I'm overhanging a little bit. So I'm just going to tighten up on that a little bit. That's it. Not too much. Don't want to break it. Uh, right. And I thought you might just like to see how I turn one of these. What I, what I do. Right, let me put that one there, that's it. Get my tool rest nice, I like my tool rest nice and close, as you all know. Right, okay. I've put a little mark on there, that's where I want the roof to be, that's gonna be the body. So I'm gonna bring that down. Well, you'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, and I'm using my carbide chisels to do it, just to show you. You can do it with your carbide chisels. Nice little projects, actually, if you're new to turning, a nice little project to do. Right, I'm gonna start off with the square and get it round. Okay. Ooh, speed's going too low. Get the speed up. Right, okay, here we go. So we're square at the moment, so... I want the roof to be. So let's get this nice and clean cut. That's where the roof's going to be. Not nearly finished cut yet. Got the tool. Tool angle down slightly. So just watch how far I go in on this. I don't want to go too deep. Well, I'm just rolling it over a little bit. I'm going to come in here. A nice clean finished cut. So I won't be going back under there afterwards. Right, okay. Coming down this way slightly. Very careful, I don't want to hit the chuck. Rolling the tool over. A clean finish, nice and smooth. Right, I'm going to bring this down the air a bit. Change them around chisel. Now I want to start getting the shaping going. My tool resting a bit closer. Right, I'm going to use it flat. Just get rid of the wood. round. The tool rolled over using the bar as the bevel. 
nice clean cut. Yes, me there. Well, I'm gonna stop that because I want to drill the ends first. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more on that. That's about as far as I dare go with that. Right, uh, yep, I wanna remove that. Come back there, pull that out. Let me drill a bit. Just wanna drill in. Thank you. Just want to hold drill down. Okay, that's that. Alright, now then. I've got a little bit too much pipe there, so I'm going to just take that down very gently. Bring the towel stop back up. Nice little bit of pressure. I've got the hole in the end anyway, so I'm doing my uh, bit. Right, coming in nice and close to the tool rest. Get the finished cuts coming in now. Um, that's it, that's all I want for the roof, so it's got to be a quite a steep roof. Alright, a couple of little bumps there. Maybe try because the way my tool rest is going, it's let me see if I can get it in a bit more like that. That's it. It's pushing my hand away as I'm going down. Right, here we go. That's it. What a beautiful finish. Right, okay. Now, I didn't actually check. Just let me check what thickness I've got. Yeah, I've still got a good bit of thickness there. Yeah, I'm all right. I can see I'm quite thick. So I want to come in now, undercut slightly. Let's get my tool rest positioned. Right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just wind this back a little bit. That's it. I'll come out to there. Lock that off. That gives me a bit more room with my tool rest. Now I can get my tool rest Nice and close like that, how I like to be. Right in as close as I can get, is how I like it. Right, let's uh, come in here with a detail chisel and undercut this. Be very careful. I'm rolling it over slightly. When you roll it over, be careful, watch that side, because if that side's up and that catches that wood, it's gonna really give you a nasty catch. So be careful with that. You've got to be watching both sides of where you're cutting. Right, now I'm going to use a square. Just bring this down a bit more. Got the square rolled over. That's it. Now I'm going to come in this way and come down this side slightly. Now because I've got the, the cut of roll slight rolled over, if I did hit my chuck, it would just brush it, it wouldn't actually break it. If I go in flat and do that, and I catch that chuck, it's going to chip that off straight away. Okay? So, there we go, lovely smooth fit. Doesn't really need sanding, but I'm going to just put a little bit of sandpaper on it. Make sure I did get that round. Yeah, 
done for two days. Not mentally worried about it. I want the overhang soon, it's only two inch wood, so I have to go with what I go with. Right, I'll put a little bit of sanding sealer on this one. This is just a cellulose, cellulose, funny word, a sanding sealer. There you go. A little bit. Right. The only reason I'm doing that is because it all clicks over Lisa. Yes, yeah. cheers. <laughs> right, that's that. Now, I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, tissue to dry it fairly quick. Right, okay. Get the sandpaper. Just to slightly thin a bit. That's that. Right, okay. Bring the tool rest in. And now, what we're going to do? Cut your mask off. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm just use me. These are just cut marker pens. Going to need new ones soon, actually. These are only cheapy ones. I wouldn't use decent ones, not on this, because you, you muck the tips up, so I'm turning, not over fast, but probably too fast for doing this, really. Oh, just in there. Okay, that's the green. Now for the red, which looks more like pink. There's a pink red. I haven't got a red, that's all it is, right? But it's pink, it's pink, it's and that really ruins the pens when you're going over the hole. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind, they're only cheapy pens, they're just for me to do a few of these. Right, see what that looks like. Right, that's not too bad. A little bit down the bottom he's doing. Just didn't want to get it all over me chuck. Got a duster, I must have had just a very slight flat on there. Still, could have done with another, just another quick pass, but never mind. That'd be all right. I just got to do the inside of these. The window frames. <laughs> For the fairies. <laughs> right. There we go. I'll take that. Go away. Take that tail stock away. <clears throat> Off of there, which it does. I'm just gonna put a bit of marker pen around the bottom. And then with these little lights, which 38 mil fits just right in the bottom. And that's what we get. And what I do is I put, I've got one here I did just earlier on. Is I put a screw iron the top, a little bit of cord. Spray a bit of varnish over it. And there you go. Little Christmas ornaments. And when it's dark, you get it, you get the light shine around. So if you make some of them up and put them in, in the room at Christmas, give them a little spin. They spin round and put the lights everywhere. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick one, guys. Till the next one.
Toodle Pip and Merry Christmas. <laughs> and it's only August. It's only August. <laughs> <laughs>